Dear student, today we will discuss the concept of serializability. In last video, we discussed concept of concurrency control. We discussed lost update problems and inconsistent read problem, uncommitted dependency problems. Today we will discuss the concept of serializability. Serializability that is a schedule in which conflicting operations are in serial order. We have a schedule in which conflicting or in a serial order. Right. So, whenever we are having the different conflicting operation or they are those operation are performed in a serial order that is known as serializability. So, processing transaction using a serializable schedule will give the same result as if the transaction had been processed one after an other. Right. So, different transaction are there that are used schedule must be performed that gives the same result if the transaction I have to perform must be performed one after other. If we are having the different transaction, they are performed parallelly. They must have to produce the same result that they are producing the result one after another. So schedules are designed so that transaction that will not interfere each other will still run parallel. All of those transaction that are not interfering to each other, those transaction must be parallel. While all of those transaction that are interfering are conflicting to each other that must be executed in serial order one after another and those transactions must have to produce the result uh, those must produce the accurate result. The basic objective of serializability of concurrency control, proto concurrency control protocol is to schedule the transaction in such a way to avoid any interference right so could run transaction serially but this limit the degree of concurrency or parallelism in system serializability that is related to the schedules that of a relate of all of those transaction that are performed in a serial order and all of those operation are conflicting to each other if operation are not conflicting if execution are not interfering to each other, they can we can execute those transactions parallelly. Objective of concurrency control is to schedule transaction in such a way to avoid any interference. Now we are having the two different concept. One is a non-serial schedule. Let me first discuss the concept of non-serial schedule. Schedule where operation from set of the concurrent transaction are interleaved. Mean objective of serializability is find non serial schedule that allow transaction to execute concurrently without interfering one another. Mean all of those transactions that are not interfering. The main objective is to find all of those inter transaction that are not interfering to each other. Right? Execute all of those in uh, parallelly. Though, so that increase the parallelism. Non-serial schedule that identify all of those transaction that user may be able to execute concurrently at the same time. Multiple user can perform the transaction at the same time without interfering with each other. Or in the simple wording, we want to find the non-serial schedule that are equivalent to some serial schedule. Right? I mean if all of those transactions are executed at the same time, right? And those if those transactions executed one and after are in a serial order, must produce the same result in both of these cases. If transactions are executed parallelly, concurrently, and are those transactions that are executed one after others in a serial order, right? Both must produce the same result. That want to find the non-serial schedule that are equivalent to some serial schedule such a schedule is called serializable in serializable ordering of read and write is very important order of read and write is very important 
as in last transaction management video we discuss concept of the different operation are performed with the database and those operation are read and write operations so in each and every transaction so order of read and write operation is very important if two transaction are there if two transaction are there and those transaction are reading the data so in such cases they do not conflict to each other if two transaction perform and they are not interfering to each other right only read operation are there then they are not interfering to each other right if either one transaction is read or write right and both of these transaction are performing on the separate data item they are not conflicting to each other order is not important just only reading if different transaction are there and they also transaction are reading the data order is not important one only reading the data order is not important only read operation on data we see that order is not important one transaction is reading data two transaction is are reading data or more transaction are reading the data order is not important but when we say that like one transaction read and another is write the data and both of those are reading and writing are on the different data items so when data items are different if two transaction either read or write completely separate data items right read and write are separate data items whenever read and write operations are there and those are on the separate data items they do not conflict to each other right they never in can no conflict so whenever there is no conflict so it's mean order is not important thus order is import first we see that one transaction all of those transaction are reading the data so order is not important one transaction read and second one write the data and data items are completely different so order is not important but when we say if one transaction write the data items and other read the data or write the data items right so and data item are the same order of execution is important then whenever one user is reading or writing one transaction read data and other write data and data items are same same data item then in such cases same data item so in such cases we say that order is very important order is very important so that concept are related to the serializability so we must have to take care of a different read and write operation in their order so whenever we are having the concept of serializability we are having the concept of the read committed isolation level so what is the read committed isolation level read committed isolation level sorry spellings are wrong every query executed by transaction see only data committed mean whenever the queries is there whenever we are applying the read committed so in such cases the query executed by the transaction see only the data that is committed uncommitted data item no one may be able to see the uncommitted data item so for that one we are having the two different different levels are there first one is the transactional level or session level or we are having the sessional level 
in transactional level we see that we in database that we are having an oracle so we have to write the command that that should be over here set transaction isolation level read committed what we set transaction transaction isolation level read committed so what we say when we write this one query set transaction isolation level read committed so it's mean that every query executed by the transaction can see only the data that is committed set transaction isolation level read committed and second one is a if we are applying it over here this uh, session level first one was related to the transaction level second one is related to the session level so for at all the sessions all the transaction that are executed only committed transaction will be shown to the user so alter session set isolation level read committed so we have to for session level we have to use the alter session set isolation level read committed let me copy this one set isolation level read committed that is the session level read committed so we are having whenever we are having the serializability we have to read committed isolation level and read committed isolation level we are having the two main level are there first one is the transaction level and second one is the session level and transaction level we see that every query at the transaction level executed by the transaction can see only the data that is committed for that one we have to set the transaction set transaction isolation level read committed and uh, if we are having the sessional level for the sessional level or season level what we have alter season right uh, instead of sessional you mention it over here season set isolation level read committed next one we are having the if we are having the serializable isolation level first one is the read committed isolation level and next one we have a serializable isolation level serializable isolation level in serializable isolation level we see that serializable transaction see only those changes that were committed at the time the transaction began plus those changes made by the transaction itself through insert update or delete mean if the changes that transaction can see all of those changes that were made by that transaction like insert operation update operation or delete operation or that were made Bef at the time of the transaction start before the time of the transaction execution those transaction changes will be shown like we say how we can we can perform for this one we are having also two level transactional level and session level for serializable we are having the two different types one is transactional level so for that one again we have to use it over here set transaction isolation level serializable set transaction isolation level instead of read committed we say that is a serializable serializable we say that transaction can see only those changes that were committed at the time of transaction begin or those changes that were made by that transaction like using the insert update or delete set transaction isolation level we say that serializable realize able now we can apply it over here that is a sql we can write this one query so that is the implementation for the serializability in oracle now if we are applying it over here uh, se session level so for that one we again we have to apply the alter session so how we can apply it over here alter session set isolation level serializable alter session set isolation level serializable
that will be used for the session level. Now again another thing that is related to the serializability uh, that is related to the read only if we are having the transactions are there we say that those transactions read only transactions see only those changes that were committed at the time of the transaction begin and do not allow insert update and delete right if we set it over here set transaction read only then it's mean that no one may user may be able to view all of those changes that were made at the time of transaction begin and user is not allowing like insert update and delete operation that as we are allowing it over here in the as uh, we are having in the previous level that is serializable serializable isolation levels and if we are having if we want to read only for the session level then alter session set isolation level read only so that will not allow to other user to perform the different type of the transaction the all of this one is related to the serializability how we can implement in next video we will discuss the concept of the locking and the different type of the locking two-phase locking and other concept thanks for watching the video